So we'd have no freshmen, no sophomores, no juniors, and we don't give any letter grades like A's, B's, or C's. At my old school, my old school had uniforms. I never really got the help that I necessarily needed. Well, I was an honor roll student, so it was no reason why I was getting detention for forgetting to wear my shirt. Sometimes being emotional or like an emotional wreck where I couldn't focus in school and I kind of lashed out on people. A lot of teachers, they would tell you like, okay, well, whether you are here or not, I'm still going to get a paycheck. But here, instead of saying, oh, you're not supposed to be in the hallway, you have detention, the teacher would say, okay, well, what's going on with you? Like, are you okay? If it wasn't for the school, I would, I would be nowhere. Of course, we have to cover the state standards and all that, but at the end of the day, we get to design everything in the classroom. As long as it works and it works well. In the morning, we are messing with numbers and you know words, and in the afternoon, we're actually working with glass and painting and, and pegboards and things like that. Here, it's always gonna be about working at your own pace and getting your work done when you can, but not really trying to slack off. It's not any excuse. We have um, skills that they need to understand. We say they're competent or not yet competent. Like you can either wash the dishes properly or you cannot wash the dishes properly. We have a lot of students who are homeless, um, students who are in gangs or affected by gang violence. And that's sort of our major struggle, is how do we deal with social-emotional problems? Because that's what's really holding a lot of them back. We use restorative justice as a way to, um, what we're really trying to do when it comes to kind of modifying student behavior is make them, you know, functioning and productive members of society. And really, as an adult, you know, if you do something that kind of disrupts the setting that you're in, what you need to do is go and apologize. You're not going to serve a detention, you know, you're not going to miss a basketball game. A huge problem with students who are not functioning in the traditional system is they get screwed by grades because of their lives, you know. So. I like that I get to act. And I get to do activities that open up different parts of my mind. But at one point, me and my mom was, you know, homeless. It's like, if I don't have a home to go to, how am I gonna get homework done? If I didn't come here, I definitely would have dropped out of school and just left it at that, struggling with life.